Oh, a serious house. We're moving right along through this biatch. That was cool. I like the Joker, dude. He was kind of got his own little freaky attitude going on. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Nice. Where were you? If you're looking for who to blame, maybe start with Amir, because you're the one that left violent psychotics unattended. Mr. Wayne, I understand you have been through a trying day, but that does not give you the freedom to criticize me or this facility in that way. Yeah, it because does. from my perspective, my patients were fine until you went into that rec room today. Well, I didn't start it. Check the cameras, bitch. One moment. <laughs> yeah. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He my boy Gordon. Into my, care. my boy it Gordon. Seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. I was what drugged, with bitch. In your room, the riot with Zaz. You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs. I'll get a second opinion. Treatment. I'll get a I second. Get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. You damn Let's right, go. bitch. Let's go. My boy Alfred. My boy Gordon. I'm going to have to play on Gordon's side for helping me get out. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait. What's that about? <laughs> He's crazy. Oh shit, dude. The fucking joke is gonna be loose. Downtown Gotham. I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any uh, better. I can tell her it's Batman's you know, turn. That's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Well, we gotta do what we can before I get fucking put back. Harvey. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Is that a threat, homie? You'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I can handle myself, I'll motherfucker. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Whoa now, you better fucking... Last thing I need is you You're pathetic. Fuck you, Harvey. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you, Harvey. Not even mayor for a week, and already the pressure's gotten to you. Two Face will remember that. Who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want? All right, motherfucker. Let you keep running around scot free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. Yeah. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. Yeah, it was. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend. It was her decision. She doesn't belong. Here. Yeah, you're right. But I'm Bruce Wayne. He's kind of an asshole. Wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. Bruce. Bruce. Oh shit, dude. We're done talking. 
Yeah, fuck you, man. If you want to play like that, I'll bring up dickhead stuff. Oh, shit. What's going on here? Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? Or maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. And if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or... Do you have a warrant? Materials, you will the hell are you? Yeah. Like hell you are. The only way you're searching this car is with two broken arms afterwards. Oh, I don't think that would be a good idea. Who the fuck is that? Come on, Walk what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac. The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? I'm tired. I am hungry. I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job. Holy shit. Shut up, Alfred. I can handle this. Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. Oh, fuck. They should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... He'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. Holy shit. All right. Now, the way I see it... There are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed? What do you say? Whatever, I'll just fucking give you the money. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Just give him the fucking this. pay him off. Hey, pay him off. Here. It's everything I have. Okay. Sure, that'll work. I wasn't about to fucking fight him. Fuck it. I already fucking told him I was gonna run him over. Jesus Christ, dude. Let's just get home. What a weird fucking. Oh, don't you fucking text after fucking... Got some stuff we need to talk about. Yeah, we probably got a lot to talk about. What the fuck, dude? What I'm do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's uh. clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to What justice. the fuck, dude? The okay. Whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? I'll protect you, don't you from him. Worry about him. Don't I'll leave me! You from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong. No, he was going crazy yeah, already. a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. Harvey won't kill you. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he would. Fuck it. Just leave. Fuck right, it. I just leave. Just go. Bruce, don't make this harder than it needs to be. We're both grown up. Man, that's not how I wanted to say that. <laughs> I'm sure we'll cross paths again. So where are you going to go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. Selena, no. She'll be fucking back. See Ooh. you around. Good luck with... I hate this. to see her go, but I love watching her leave. And then you, like, see... Okay, what the fuck? That's a weird cut. Um, Then he has, like, an attack and just falls over. Kind of looked like the fucking Scarface mansion there for a second. Come on, load screens, please. I don't really want to deal with this today. Thank you. 
I just keep having fucking drug attacks. Am I having withdrawals? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Yeah, it is. I told people to run them over the car. I was gonna run them over. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. I have to do this! I have to do something. Don't get in my way, Al. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but... Oh! the problem at hand first. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. <laughs> he hits one button. Alright. Let's look at the this drug module. This is a sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Alright. What do we do with that? Nothing? DNA clean. Here's my DNA before the incident. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a What the antidote. fuck, dude? What is this? The drug. No. Uh oh. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, uh. we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person how the fuck dude okay all right so we're supposed to make that. that that's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. okay oh never mind i see how to do this the little chart up god damn it there we go no go back and then this that should have been it right oh no i don't have this one right there we go. Look at that. That should do it. All right, grab the antidote. Let's fix ourselves. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh, dude, I want to see this! Oh, dude, I hate that. I hate that, dude. I hate when people, like, needles and shooting up, dude. That's... I think all... I think I accidentally made it fucking, like, ten... Oh, no, I'm fixing it. Holy shit. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going then to do Then he just has now? a fucking seizure or something. First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. You knew that already! Obviously, the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She See, now I'm, now I'm definitely glad. I wish things, I wish were things had been different. Yeah, don't we all? Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Do I have a choice? No offense intended toward your recent... Yeah, he knew Vicky course. was Lady Arkham. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that... If I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, 
They should be easy enough to locate. Right Got there. Bruce. Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Yeah, she's a crazy bitch. Oh look at that! I just fucking hopped to my suit. I'm out. I can't believe, like, as big as Gotham is when Batman's driving around, there's, and, like, hardly no one on the fucking roads. Am I just gonna straight up walk in their house as Batman? You should probably shut the house. Wait, wait, how do you shut the door? I'm inside the Vale house. Oh, there's blood over here. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude, are her eyes fucking torn out? What the hell happened there? Alfred, the I like how my suit's still fucked up. Confirmed that there was a lot of blood. Cause I can't get it fixed now. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept. Quiet. Holy shit, dude! They tore her fucking eyes out. Mrs. Vell's body. Oh, eyes dude. Are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Jesus Christ. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Holy dit! She did. Do they fucking. She killed her own Strange. parents, dude. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. What a bitch, dude! Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Aw, oh, she's talking about her fucking parents or something. She hates her parents. There's the cattle prod right there. Well, I'm pretty sure we can connect the neck wound to the syringe. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Damn, she fucking killed her own mom, dude! Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. The family link. What's this on the ground? Hair! I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Ooh. That's a clue. All these clues. What is that? There's the knife. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? It was probably used with the hair. Gotta connect the dots. Link it up. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Okay. Pantry. Dude, is her dead dad so gonna fucking just fall? Oh, it's locked. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Holy shit, dude! He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Yeah, this we can see... company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Jesus Christ! Oh, but I can connect this logo to this picture over here. The logo's Yeah. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Just the like cause Paul got my fucking company. All right, well, there's the belt. 
What the fuck? Is there anything else I can't even connect? I didn't see anything. Oh, wait! There's the blood spatter! Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. Oh. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. No. Let me link it up. There we go. Wall indentation. To the belt buckle. Dude, she beat him with a fucking belt. Hard enough for fucking blood to splatter. What's that fucking... To the shape of the belt buckle. Jesus Christ, dude. He wall. looks like James Ellsworth right there. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, they were killed. We needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Holy Vicky shit, to dude! Attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then she killed her adopter parents. That's fucked up. A much, much larger dose. And then she took Weirdly, her fucking eyes out, she dude. And removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime dude, she stuck her head. eyes in. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she? Alfred, she must have got drugged herself. Someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. There's a pipe. Clear. Nothing here. Holy shit, dude. She's crazy. She fucking... Holy shit, dude. She fucking pushed her mom's eyes in. No. Why would that wood have a heat signature unless it was already fucking... Why do we have to do this for each part? Couldn't There's you just look around? Under the stairs, alive. Oh, no! That poor little... Ch That poor little kid. Oh. Easy. I won't hurt you. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? Holy shit, dude. The, Alfred, the boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Possibly, but if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Oh fuck! Okay. All right, I can't. I can't be mean to this fucking kid after this. Some of the shit. Um, you're gonna be all right. Yeah, let's ease him first. Hey, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. Sorry, I scared you. I'm sorry, I scared you. It's going to be okay. So I'm just saying it's gonna be okay. Say something else. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I, I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. Oh, poor kid. Because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. Please don't send you to punishment. Thank you. Music's picking up. Kid. Get down. Oh shit! No, not the kid! Well, hello, Batman. What a <laughs> pleasure to see you. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little back traps all over the city. 
But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Oh my god. How did I- I just stood there and got hit. Fuck you! Look at that, I'm fighting a drone in this epic battle right now. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. Get fucking- Get him! Hit him! Get him, bats! Good shit. Oh, fuck. Good job, kid! Oh, no. Nope. Come here. Come here! Hey, good job, kid. You helped me. Tell him, give him a high five. Good job, kid. Nice work, kid. The boy will remember that. No, 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 look. Don't look. Don't look. Oh. You're, you're dead. Look away. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice. But they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. Oh, Let's get him out of here. Let's get You're him out of here. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I oh. will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Aw, Lucy, I was really nice as Batman for once. Let's get you out of here. I'm glad I was good to the kid, man. He didn't. Aw, see, well, Lisa made him somewhat happy. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? Um, just look after him. He lives here. My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. Got you, Gordon. See, I'm glad I went with Gordon. I knew I could trust Gordon. If I would have, I remember in the uh, was it the first episode, I could have given fucking Vicky information. Fuck her. Need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. <laughs> he just rolls out. He's fucking pop. 